Hey guys, welcome to the navigation and routing course. In this course, we are going to learn everything related to routing and navigation in Flutter. Flutter provides a complete system for navigation between screens, so today we are going to start with the basic and understand how to navigate in the Flutter app. In order to better understand how to use navigation, we are going to build a sample app if you are ready. Let's do it! Before starting coding, let's clean main.dat which is the default application in Flutter. Now we are going to create a folder called pages and this is the place where we are going to create different pages of our application. Let's create our first page called home page and another one called detail page. Inside this home page, we are going to add a button called detail page and this one is going to redirect to the third page. To do that, we are going to use navigator.push. Navigator.push is a method used to redirect from one page to another one. Let's build it and click on the redirect button. Here we can see that our button redirects us to detail page. Now we are going to learn how to pass a parameter to the function. Let's say we want to change the title of the detail page and give some information about ourselves. We are going to pass those parameters to the constructor of detail page. If we want to make our parameter mandatory, we are going to add the keyword required. This will therefore force us to pass a parameter each time we call our detail page widget. We can also decide to only take the title as mandatory and give a default parameter for the message. navigator.pop This function helps us to get back to the previous page. Let's create a button called get back. and add navigator.pop This is going to get back to the home page. If you want to pass a parameter when we get back from data page to home page, we can add it directly to the data page. Let me show you something. If you want to remove the back button on your data page, you can use automatically apply leading and set it to false. If you don't want to go back at all once you navigate to another page, you should use push and remove until widget. Now we are going to talk about name routes. Previously, we learned how to navigate with Navigator. This approach is good. However, if you need to navigate to the same screen in many parts of your app, this approach can result in code duplication. The solution is to follow a name route and use this route for navigation. We are going to use navigator.pushName for that. Now let's create a page called main page and another one called second page.
we are going to define the roots in our main app. The parameter initial root define which root the app should start with. When we use initial root, we don't need to define home properties. Now, let's get back to our main page and navigate to the second page. Perfect! Every time you would now like to redirect to the second page, you will only have to call the root and not the widget itself. Congratulations, you have made it! For the next episode, we will see how routings work with navigation 2.0. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section or join our Telegram group. Thanks, and see you!